Today's tutorial gives a literal meaning to cut crease. I show you how I recreated this cut crease, the sharp wing liner or cat eye, as well as the ripped open contour area. To begin this tutorial, I will first need a sheet of paper towel. I'm going to rip strips of the paper towel off. These should be the length or measurement of your cheekbone. So measuring back from your hairline down to wherever you want the wound to end on your cheek. You can see I am ripping rather than cutting. Ripping is going to give you more of a ripped wound effect. If you want more of a streamlined wound or cut, then you can use scissors. Using liquid latex, I'm going to use my finger and dab this on the area that I want the wound to be. So this is going to act as an adhesive. You're going to place the paper towel right over top. Then you can just use your finger to smooth this out. I also apply the liquid latex on top of the paper towel, pushing down or smoothing out the edges. You're going to repeat this entire process with another little piece of paper towel right on top. This is going to help build up and make a thicker wound to work with. It'll also hold product better if it is double layered. Repeat this process for the other side. And you should now look like you have massive white sideburns. <laughs> now for that cut cat eye, I'm going to use my Miron Sin Wax. This is synthetic modeling wax. I first roll this with my fingers. I have a little bit of Vaseline on my fingers just to soften the molding wax a little bit. I'm going to then press it down onto my skin and smooth out the edges with my fingers. Measure this out, pressing on the corner or end of my eye, pointing back towards the end of my brow, the same way that you would do your winged eyeliner. Now following these same steps of using the Vaseline, rolling and warming up the wax with my fingers, and just creating the shape that I think would be best for the area that I want the wound. So now for the other eye, I'm going to create that gash or cut crease. It took me a few tries to get the shape right. You can see it's a little bit of a curve following the brow bone. I'm going to apply it the same way. So pressing this onto the skin and softening out the edges to blend into the skin. If you feel some of the edges are not laying flat or not sticking as well as you'd like, you can use the liquid latex under, over, or around this modeling wax to make sure it stays in the right place. Now that our pieces are set, you can open them to create the open wound effect. So you're gonna use a carving tool or scissors. Just be very careful when doing this step and you're going to create a slice down the center. So basically you're just gonna open a hole to place product to create depth and the ripped skin effect. Depending on the size and look you're going for, you may need to use multiple tools to rip this open to get the correct effect. I also use my fingers to manipulate the shape. So now that both of my contours are cut open, I'm going to place my foundation over top the paper towel in latex. This is going to cover the white, so it's going to make it look like skin by changing the color to match my skin tone. Because it is paper towel and not skin, it's going to pull the color and product differently than your skin normally would. So I recommend using a couple shades of foundation or a concealer palette. That way you have color options to blend this out. My go-to for any special effects type of video is my Morphe 10 CON palette or 10 concealer palette. This gives you 10 different shades or colors to choose from or mix. It's perfect to have on hand when creating in-depth looks like this. It's also great for a freelancing kit, so I highly recommend this palette. For this, you can see I'm using a brush and a carving tool. You could use two brushes for this, but it just helps to move the paper towel around, making sure that I cover all area on the outside that needs to match my skin tone. It's also easier using two different tools, such as two brushes, instead of your finger. That way you don't get product all over your finger trying to lift up the paper towel. I'm going to apply this same color on the rest of my face. Now using a felt tip liquid liner, I'm going to create a cat eye. Create this as you normally would, just following a lash line and winging out the end. This is going to go above the wax that we placed for the wound. Now to rip open the smaller wounds that we have around the eye, again, you're gonna take a sharp tool. Please be careful with this. 
and you're going to create a slice down the center to open this up. Now I'm going to take a black eyeliner or eyeshadow, whatever you have handy, and place this in the center or open part of the wound. This is going to create depth and darken the area. You're going to apply this on all four of the wounds or however many that you choose to have. Then over top of the black, I'm going to apply scab blood. So this is a thicker, sort of like a gooier type blood. This type of blood is much darker in color. It also lasts a lot longer or keeps its consistency or texture a lot longer than like liquid blood, which dries. So definitely make sure that when doing this step, you're using scab blood. After you've applied your base scab blood, you can then apply your liquid blood. Liquid blood is typically a lot brighter in color or a lot brighter of a red. It also is a different texture, which you can see when applying. It has more of a shine to it and it's just more liquid. <laughs> Liquid blood is great for detail, which you can apply to the edges of the wound. It's also good for something like splatter or if you're doing a dripping effect. Between the black base, the scab blood, and the liquid blood, it creates a really awesome gory effect with a lot of dimension. Repeating the same layering steps with the black scab blood and liquid blood, you're going to do this to the rest of the wounds. You can add blood on the outside of the wound, bring it down around the edges or creating splatter to get more gory. That's up to you. Make sure also when applying to the paper towel, you are applying this on the inside of the paper towel. Any area that's left white on the inside should be covered with the blood or black eyeshadow. And now your wounds are done. Added bonus if you want to add anything like sewing them together, creating stitches or safety pins or anything that you can think of to make it really your own. There are many ways to create wounds and many other products that can be used. These are just simple ways that I typically will create mine. You can mix these different methods together. You may want to practice and feel out what works best for you. To finish the look, I chose to add some trauma contact lenses. These are from Camo Eyes, and I'll post a link for these in the description box in case you want to get some to add to your costume. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure you read the description box or comment below. Give a thumbs up if you are a fan of my Halloween tutorials. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.